welcome to marine engineering hub this is your narrator ravi gupta today we're going to talk about waste gate valve adjustment this is mainly used in auxiliary engine and we'll see why it is been used and how it look like so first let's understand the basic adjustment so as you can see this is the engine this is the exhaust coming out from the engine and this is the scavenge manifold of the auxiliary engine now the exhaust which is coming out is going to the turbo charger fitted here the turbo charger energy is been utilized and going up to the exhaust uptake now a strange thing you will see is that exhaust waste gate valve which is also provided as a bypass arrangement here okay now the compressed air which been compressed is coming to the exhaust manifold now in this exhaust manifold you will see an dumping arrangement of a air means if the air in the manifold is excess it can be dumped by this air dumping valve and apart from that you can see this charge air waste gate valve arrangement is provided which is acting as a interlink in between the exhaust and inlet manifold so you can see three different arrangement in this turbocharger system one is the charge air waste gate arrangement one is the air dump arrangement and one is the exhaust waste gate arrangement so this is the three thing which are differentiating from the normal system so why it is there so let's see the system now the turbocharger may be matched to the engine to produce full output at 85% full load this is so that the higher pressure can be obtained at low power increasing the engine efficiency and reducing thermal loading so very important so what is happening that this engine which is running here is in match in such a way that when it run at 85% the turbocharger operate at maximum efficiency means the turbocharger produce maximum amount of compressed air in 85% of the engine load now if the engine is run at 100% of the efficiency or 100% load in that case the turbocharger now can't produce more than that so it that energy will go waste so that for that reason to prevent wastage of air a bypass arrangement is provided which by which the exhaust can be bypassed to the uptake which can be used by the economizer one more time i will tell you what is happening the engine when running at 85% load the turbocharger is been matched with that load it means that it 85% the turbocharger 85% of engine load the turbocharger is operating at maximum efficiency for that reason the exhaust waste gate valve is provided so that it can bypass the remaining exhaust gas when the engine is run going to run at 100% at that time it will bypass the extra exhaust gas to the economizer for the uses now the same problem will come again as the turbocharger is matched at 85% load now in normal operating condition this this will not be in use if the turbocharger if the engine is operating at 75% load now if the engine is operating at 85% load no problem the turbocharger is operating in maximum efficiency no use of this this and this now if the turbocharger if the engine is operating at 100% load now what will happen now this will be come in use and as the turbocharger is generating more amount of air so the extra air can be for that it has been air dumping valve is provided 
now the question come to our mind that why why we are matching the turbocharger at 85% of the load of the engine this is because so that that at low power the turbocharger is highly responsive and it will be if more effective okay for that reason we are matching it at 85% for full output now this means that over 85% load the engine is producing more exhaust gas than is needed for optimum running to overcome this an exhaust waste gate is fitted on the system and some of the exhaust gas bypass the turbocharger it energy being utilized in the exhaust gas economizer as i have told you now a charge air waste gate may be fitted to dump excess air when necessary and a charge air bypass may be fitted to the engine running under variable load this put air into exhaust gas side and help to avoid surging when engine is running at low load very important so what is happening if the ex- excess air is there in manifold in that case it can be dumped when the engine is running at full load now if suppose the there is sudden change in the load variation means engine was running at full load now suddenly it came to low load in that case the excess wear will be available in the inner manifold so to prevent black smoke generation or to prevent that less amount of energy is available at a turbocharger so to prevent that a charge air can be bypassed through the exhaust gas so that it can provide the necessary drive to the turbocharger from the inlet manifold to the exhaust gas so in low load operation or in variable load operation air can be put into the exhaust side from the inlet side to avoid surging okay so this is how waste gate valve arrangement is provided it is provided with three things exhaust waste gate air dump and charge air waste gate this charge air waste gate is used in variable load condition to avoid surging now i will show you the picture here this is you are saying waste gate which is been sorted with the manifold means the scavenge is sorted with the exhaust manifold here you can see waste gate extra air which is been produced in the manifold is getting dumped here and here you can see the waste gate turbocharger bypass provided it means if the engine is operating at 100% load the extra exhaust can be bypassed to the economizer so this is how the exhaust gas of a waste gate valve arrangement work i hope you have got a clear idea of a waste gate arrangement if you like the video please do hit the like button and please do subscribe and please do share please friend please do subscribe and please share my video in a social platform it will help encourage us to continue making this type of video which are not available in the internet my aim is only to provide knowledge and to spread knowledge so please help me to do that thank you friend have a good day